Hello and welcome. It's Jilly Cube. I'm here in Queensland, Australia, coming to you with an attempt, I think, well, a kind of spiral pour, I think. Haven't done one of those in a while. Um, I've got some lovely colours mixed here, so I might just put a few of those in. But what I'm going to do today is um, do the background of my canvas a dark navy. This is a navy that I make up myself out of phalo blue, a good blob of um, dark, very dark green, like a moss green, and then a blob of black if you want it to go more navy. That's how I make my own. Oh, that needs shaking up a bit more. Ooh. I think I need to put some in a cup and allow it to um, mix. Look off. See how we go with this. Should give me a nice base. We will try it and see how we go. So I haven't done a very dark base like this for a little while, I don't think. I don't know, I'm all over the place. Um, anyway. Just go through the boring bits of spreading it over the canvas and hope that you guys have all had a good week, good weekend, whatever um, day we're at when I put this video out. Because sometimes my videos can be made weeks or months ahead and I'm not, um, you know, put them, publish them onto my site. So sometimes my days are all over the place. But anyway, anyhow trying to get a few videos up my sleeve because I think that um, my dear husband needs a little and deserves a little break away a little holiday so I'm gonna try and um, get that organized Radio. got a nice base down now and I really want to be able to below this paint when I put the nice colours on top so I do need quite a nice uh, thick cover covering covering to give it a yeah like a really nice base to blow the other paints over. Okay. I'm not going to worry about my edges at this point because hopefully my other paints will blow over the edges. Right here. So I've got that nice um, sort of denim blue there and what I'm going to add into that denim is my oh this is uh, like a really brilliant green like cool green oh so I'm going to kind of do a swirl like that that will stop my camera yeah Okay, <laughs> my husband tries to FaceTime me right in the middle. What coffee is it you want <laughs> from that he's gone shopping? Silly duffer. So kind of spiral round. And now I'm going to give it some of my champagne gold in a spiral. Wow, this color's pretty striking on this navy blue. Wow, 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 wow. Um, kind of need to go a bit lighter now, I'm keeping my colours. This is metallic, um, what's it called? Metallic lavender. I'll put some of that in there. Wow, 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 wow. And then I will go, this was the metallic lavender with uh, white so it's took it down a notch or two in the colors don't want much wow those colors should really pop now i'm really going to pop your socks off because i'm going to add in there this orange i made up but i've put a good chunk of um yellow in with it, bright yellow to give it a real good pop of colour. Now it's gonna spiral for sure. 
Wow. All right. I think think that's going to do. I could. I've got so many lovely colours here that I would have loved to put in there, but I'm not. You know. I better stop. Smack my hand, somebody. Radio. I'm going to just give it a little hit with my heat one. if I'm doing these kind of spiral pours I'll start from the bottom and I actually think I'm going to go upwards on this one give this a go I think I need one of those people here that declutter your drawers I've got wire I've got wires and everything going everywhere okay I'm going to give this a go Let's see how we go going back the other way. This is another catalyst wedge which is C26. Let's see if I can just give a bit of a different effect on the If you're looking for these catalyst wedges, I have them down below in my Amazon store. With it, you kind of got to, you're committed. <laughs> it's a little bit weirdly different, I guess. Um, not kind of think I could do a better job with that, but um, try my. Sort of a bit, gone a bit by a wall here. Spiraling round, isn't it? Could have gone all the way. Mm. 
it is the colors are beautiful I'm not sure about the orange I think I'm gonna put my signature bit in it so if you don't want to go this far then you don't do it oh look at that I always for my art it's what gives it I soften it I feel that I soften it up this way even more so and get a more movement by literally using the balloon as your tool you don't have to do kisses you can do rolls all sorts of things whatever your heart desires that's what an abstract art is all about so just a few in there to I might use my smaller one just put a little bit of water in this it's the same size balloon it's a normal size balloon but it's just got a bit of water I just feel it gives it that little bit of weight to add some oomph in there and we all need oomph well gone crazy this week going crazy Just go, go for it. Just do whatever your heart desires. Remember, don't listen to the criticism because this is your art journey, not your critics. I hate it when people burst other people's bubbles and tell them that things look bad. Oh, it's no, no such thing. Wow, that is so pretty, very pretty. Turn it round and let you have a little look-see. You could kind of have it, I guess, anyway. It doesn't, you know, that way. It's sort of coming all the way round or like a wave. Wow, it's pretty striking with that blue the blue on the background I think it really makes it pop so pretty happy with that one um, I'll bring you down for a close-up okay look at some of these colors in here definitely softened up and created movement with the balloon and with that wedge that particular wedge I find was a bit too scratchy for this particular surface so should have gone my other one but loving the colors together certainly that blue makes them pop well thank you for coming on this journey with me again guys um i had fun tell me if you think it's a yay or a nay you're going to give it a go it was certainly fun doing it. I haven't done a spirally kind of thing. I wish I'd gone more round, but there's always next time. There's always tomorrow. Okay, my lovelies, please take care of yourselves. Uh, watch out for the photos at the end. The link for the Catalyst wedges is in my Amazon shop down below in the description box, or I might try and remember to put it in the first comment. So take care of yourselves. Bye for now.